No doubt you must have seen him while scrolling through the social networks, so who is he all about? Yeah, you are exactly right. He is Alex Hormuzi, a son of Iranian immigrants who dreams of becoming a doctor like his father, who himself came to Baltimore to pursue his dream. He was a student of an elite college, mastered his program of studies, and then went on to follow the set course. Probably he had decided that being an army engineer was better than being a doctor, which was a normal job that many people would have picked. His life was not even worth living, because it was just a routine with an average salary. He wanted to break away from business and fitness that he felt were everything in life, wanting to be free from his father's expectations and a normal life. For him, every kind of extreme that could give him some relief was salvation. He was struggling to find something to fill him up, and it only deepened as time passed, but he still followed his father's instructions because that's what his father wanted of him. It was the most awful period of his life day and night, seemed to go by like a prayer book. His dad was lonely, and his dad disapproved of his decision. Nonetheless, Alex weighed the options and decided to follow his dream of life in California instead of sticking in Baltimore. Alex is a sports-savvy guy who is coached by a gym owner. Although Alex himself is a volunteer at the gym, which is not common, he believes that this is the best way for him to gain experience in running a gym and promoting fitness. He has now moved from being an employee to a freelancer, enabling him to work in a more flexible way and also find a new source of income. He is all versed in gym management and business operations, analyzing the setbacks and the way to run everything flawlessly. Alex feels the opportunity to create a new image for the fitness industry, so he determines to set up his own gym in sunny California. He finds out that his individual and professional lives have reached a much greater level of maturity when he changed from being a trainer to being a gym owner. He is now investing in the business to hire more employees, build a new facility, and improve the existing one. Alex has six gyms, and he is going to see his mentor on the internet, businessman Russell Brunson, to get counseling. Alex was not at ease because he spent $30,000 to be in a meeting that was only exclusive, and he was supposed to learn from people who were the wisest. Nevertheless, Russell's response to this critical issue was unexpected to everyone. He replied why to Alex's question, and Alex got into the depths of strategy. The gym business was not something that he wanted to run alone, but he was training others to which this is the lady he should be with, Alex realizes. In spite of the 15% hefty commission, Alex is looking for a new payment processor come new year. Given his monthly income of $50,000, it is his only recourse. Right from scratch, they started with only Alex and Layla and every month they brought on their friends to the company. Alex perceives this new business venture as a platform for generating more revenue and expanding the service offerings. They open gyms for others, they do six-week challenges, they gather data on their achievements. However, Alex thinks that Layla's disclosure of the account is a good thing, but he soon finds out that he is deep in a nightmare. In the light of this many reimbursements, the balance is very much negative, appearing as minus $500 everywhere. The owners of the gym are giving a $506 week challenge, and at the end of the six-week challenge the participants can ask for a refund or re-enroll at half price. Alex gets to know he needs to pay $150,000. Then the processor problems, the betrayal by his old business partner, and now these refunds it is another crushing devastation. Alex is knocked out by this blow, which is that strong. Alex is confused as to which career path to take since he is poor, and he has several career options, like a trainer or a car dealership. He goes so far as to say that he could even ask his father for help, although not for a second does it seem like he is serious. Hold on before moving any further make sure you subscribe for more such videos. Alex is undergoing a difficult time managing a phone call, because the other person is crying because they have put all their money in one thing, and now it's causing a serious problem. The speaker of the poem, Alex, responds with that's life. The person is shaken but Alex only gives them some advice and refuses to help much. He snubs his nose at the $6,000 offer, and it's pretty clear he's just toying with him. The conversation with the miser provides Alex with an occasion to examine his business conduct. At the end of the book Alex realizes his knowledge is valuable, and it was worth all his efforts. He realizes that he has overstretched himself, and as such, he makes the decision to sell off all of his businesses, including Jim Liu, for $46 million. 
He wishes to give consultancy for companies not in the fitness industry while concentrating on his new startup acquisition.com. Through the exploitation of resources such as other people's labor, investments, marketing, and content creation, Alex becomes well-known on social media platforms and attracts competent people. $100 million leads his book, is the major catalyst that brought him to where he is now. Alex wants to take his business to the next level and achieve revenue of $1 billion. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to channel and press the bell icon for latest videos.